morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to Prince Miller Entertainment TV. Subscribe to the channel, follow us on all our social media platforms. We're on Instagram at Prince Miller Entertainment, Facebook at Prince Miller Entertainment. We're now available on our Facebook group, which is our Prince Miller Entertainment TV. Welcome to another edition of our Audio Thoughts with Prince. So, guys, I'm going to my street room. I do follow Hopio, man. I think you should follow Hopio. You should follow him. I think with the other one, I'm going to tell you how my views are going to tell you how I'm 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 is being biased but on this one I, I don't know most of you i know could you agree with him Anika. uh he's attacking uh douglas monzora mdct president Anika. so he calls him so so i'm just gonna read uh what um uh Oprah have said regarding to douglas monzora he calls himself the opposition leader but he's busy hoping nangagwa to tear up zimbabwe's constitution giving the detector power that will strip citizens of their human rights he's a cheap political uh, that is being bought with crumbs on the table what a useless greedy and unprincipled man so that's what i hope is actually saying regarding to douglas monzora and the people on social media have been you know giving uh opio thumbs up and saying to what monzora is part of zanu pf i think i've talked about this year guys uh several times several times people accusing uh mdct president douglas monzora as a cheap political prostitute for you munuesa tungu ataka daga zimunzura from left right and center so uh the man uh he did a press conference yesterday which we did uh you know um put here on our channel prince entertainment tv on daily news on breaking news it was like an hour or so the man was talking about the amendment bill number two i know most of you now are aware of that as you know what uh you know most of our MPs, most of MDCT MPs, they actually voted yes to it. I mean, for you, uh, we've seen it in, in many years that uh, when it comes to Nyayi's guys, opposition party is supposed to, to oppose everything in uh, the, the main uh, political party, even in, in South Africa. But when it's one was the twenty one, want to vote it out, I was it, as it, you know. So uh, it will give, um, you know, it, it will give um, Nangagwa or whoever uh, shall win the. 2023 elections you know uh, the powers to appoint uh, judges without interviews for you and uh, i don't appoint any judge and uh, and to, uh and right again to appoint seven ministers outside of parliament yeah as i said earlier on could see uh, on that video would you know what uh it can actually uh, appoint me and say you not know prince were minister of lands and agriculture yeah. so i'm right to appoint on seven at the same time at the remove of the running mate clause yeah uh, like example like a 2018 elections and it's a papa 30 uh gentlemen and women out there who wanted to be the president so uh come 2023 was uh to much idea winner i'm gonna write to choose uh two guys from those 30 and it's you can uh, we know maybe or choose uh, two of those guys could write them a vice president okay so uh so which means with the ed and it's an right to choose a two one or the year my city my running mate anyone you know from the sanpf i don't want to choose any two so uh, it is uh, what it is people are people are saying good morning i need more power now i need more power and one of the of his powers are now to even extend the terms of office for judges you know like uh, the chief justice look malaba and the right to extend the mama out you know like five years on this was five years on this five years saga money right to you so uh open and other people on social media have been attacking Douglas Monzora you know with the MDCT president is saying with this guy is a political prostitute uh yeah Douglas Monzora is actually part of Zanu PF branch and uh, and I don't know guys in the comment section this is our uh, audio thoughts with Prince Munuzo Mafungre and Mimi Munuzo say this is Nyaya Bill Nature Amendment Bill number two we really need to talk about this bill Nandika Kutwano wa wana wanya soon we saw kuti zuno mirire and again come 2023 Jaa Fekta say so some people are saying yeah, yeah that uh, ZNPF is a uh, two-thirds majority so they can pass any bill without Monzora help so this of saying good Monzora is a ZAN PF aid it's just baseless no matter how to one one you know you can't blame Monzora with Monzora and DH but you see people are blaming Monzora in a way you could see uh, he's the main opposition party now in parliament for you anima MPs are around you know he's supposed to be opposing you know opposition party is supposed to oppose 
of you know pale zvinga zvinzo kuti of course uh, he can agree but pale zvinga zvinzo kuti you know uh, they should not agree like this amendment bill number 2 we are supposed to move forward to move this bill we are supposed to to oppose but many people were surprised to hear kuti munzora actually akutobatsira kuti it be really state kwa pamtemo you know maybe ndo uh, change of politics i had ora ari ku Victoria Falls achite zvoni what uh, it's a new era of politics now we need to work together with uh, ZANU PF to the one second is Zimbabwe forward so uh, at the end of the day i still feel kuti Uh, Zimbabwe, you know, Jaramba 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 Party pa gadzirisi kwa, because we can't just agree of what RPF or MDCT or Achamisa is saying. Pantu fa na utova pani opposition party to balance my views. My views are not from Berana, kuti zunzi 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 pati kwa mushe mushe. We need to have side A and side B. And I think I'm going to have one party state in Zimbabwe. This is what people are saying. That's why people are actually blaming Douglas Munzora of actually siding up with uh, this whole issue. And so someone is writing, kuti uh, this guy will commit a suicide one day. He's going to find it hard to face the liberated world. He is going to find it hard to get friends. For now, he does not care as long as NPF recognizes him and give him the money he needs. And he's so desperate to be a prime minister. So people are saying with the Monzo, I don't get out of NPF, you know, so that he, he can get a post and he can move the next government, yeah, ED, come 2023, maybe an ED winner. This is what people are saying on social media and saying, you know what, he's just one of those guys, you know, you know, um, Zanupiev. But uh, guys, uh, because uh, if you look in South Africa, like in SA, you know, uh, if you look on SA politics compared to Zim politics, in South Africa, you know, but in the time you could see Malema, Cecil Ramaphosa, one of the people who are in the world, we advise the DA. Uh, president at the moment na Ramaphosa wano bo bata no mo uku wambo agriwo on certain things so uh, I don't know maybe ndo bo way or on your line uh, redako nda na Douglas Munzora regarding to this whole politics issue so I saw uh, back in those days whereby EDN parliament I would tell you to the MDC opposition party MPs you know they would actually work out so on go out on bo pushko nima pisa on zika konzi kuda imu yende because mwiti samu noise so And Mondra said, you know what? That era is dead. That era is gone. Now it's a hard time whereby we need to listen to what ED is saying to Karapasi, to Vunzo, all my questions. So I don't know. Maybe he is trying to, you know, uh, to have this new political landscape, as he said before. But many people are not having it. Many people are saying, you know what? Your opposition, you should remain opposition and you should oppose. And many people are, you know, he's saying that many people are not ready, are not ready for mature politics. <laughs> mature politics in the end, you need to agree with the, with the uh, ruling party, you need to work with the ruling party, you need to be with them. We also want to say, and sometimes, you know, you need to be against them, but in 60% of the time, you just need to be with them. You just need to agree with whatever they say. And so, I just want to say, this is all the thoughts with Prince Nagoto Nunga Nainya, you know, I hope he is attacking uh, Douglas Munzora. On another post again, he did, uh, he's also attacking guys like Temba Mliskwa. You know, as you know, Temba Mliskwa is an outspoken person. Voted for this amendment bill number two. You see, I know that there are MPs, and you know, my, my MPs, when you know, I'm sorry, you know, you know, the moment you elect someone else to be your MP, you know, around there, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, so we need to look closely at the 2023 elections. Please don't vote uh, for the party. Vote for the person. Vote for the moon. I'm not as out. We go. He can actually represent you well in parliament. Not to go vote for because we do MDC alliance. We go to vote for and we do MDC. T. I won't vote for and we do SNP. I won't vote for. Vote for the moon. We go to moon. We go. Can he really deliver on the promises? You know, many people are not going to be lying. You know, 90% of the people who want to eat my MPs or who wants to be MPs or who wants to be councillors. We don't watch Tony Eba. We don't watch Tony Eba because if you look closely, we never go. Wanengwa kato, wanengwa chonyangira yao. 
so we really need to uh, scrutinize we really need to uh, you know to find the background they want to i want to say are these guys gonna be uphold the constitution are these guys gonna be uh, uphold you know uh, what we want as a community not to go vote ramon because of a party because uh independent iowa kasa daro man and got to vote you know really have uh, concerns and it uh, hurts because this whole situation is uh, really depends on my one and so guys got to talk in the comment section this is a uh, prince Miller entertainment tv all the thoughts with prince got to great and remember to follow us on all our social media platforms instagram and facebook uh prince Miller entertainment tv bless up Synesthetic.